We are on the southern coast of Iceland today. This is Katla. This is a sub-glacier volcano, so a volcano beneath the surface. It last erupted back in 1918. It's well overdue for an eruption. The lines of ash in the ice are like rings in a tree and keep a historic record of eruptions. Scientists can tell the volcano here erupts every 40 to 60 years. Katla is two and a half hours from Reykjavik, and from the small southern coastal town of Vik, you can take a tour of this area in a souped-up jeep or van, and a guide from a site like Viator is recommended even necessary. The melting glacier, air pockets beneath, and volcanic ash covering the site can create quicksand, something our guide knows firsthand about. He had to have a group pull him out after he sunk into his waist. They're taking us in a couple different ice caves. This one collapsed a couple weeks ago, not going in there, but they have others they could show us. During our visit, one small cave was open to walk into while a few others were starting to form. Photos posted to some tour websites are misleading. There are no giant cavernous caves currently open for exploration at Katla. You will get striking contrasting colors, the black ash against the green mountains and white snow and sky. And the waterfalls are unlike anything I've seen, cascading off the cliffs of the glacier and bursting from holes which appear in the ice. As recently as 20, 25 years ago, this whole area was covered by the glacier's ice, the glacier that sits on top of Katla, the volcano. And people who live here in southern Iceland say they can remember a time when those green mountains there, covered with moss now, were also totally covered with the glacier's ice. The area is constantly changing as the glacier, Iceland's fourth largest, shrinks. These images from NASA show remarkable changes from 1986 to 2014. They show the glacier retreating and also show the ice becoming much thinner. And just think, another whole decade has passed.